everyone. I'm Beth Henry Vance with the DEP's Youth Environmental Program. I'm going to talk to you today about a craft that I love to do with children and adults of all ages. It is a water bottle wind spiral craft and all you need is a plastic water bottle, something like this, uh, permanent markers, they do have to be permanent markers, and some scissors. I have some heavy, heavy duty scissors um, to cut the bottom off and shorter scissors to do the spiral, but that's not necessary. Um, if you have any sturdy scissors, they should work just fine. So I do want to mention that we encourage people to use reusable water bottles as much as possible because unfortunately plastic does not decompose very quickly at all. Um, we might use a water bottle, you know, and if we drink it down in five minutes and if you throw it away, it's going to end up in a landfill and it could take hundreds of years to decompose. It could be 400 years, it could be 800 years, depending on the conditions and the type of plastic. So we were, would encourage you to recycle, if at all possible. Um, but if that's not possible, if that's not possible, you can upcycle it into a craft. So you would just take the label off, well you would drink this water first, and then take the label off. And sometimes the labels are, uh, a little bit sticky, there's a little bit residue left, get as much of it off as you can. And then if there's a little bit left over, if there's a little bit of label left over, that's okay because your permanent marker will cover it. So I have some that are empty and ready to be colored. And you can go up and down in different directions. You can be real particular and go sideways and do all kinds of different colors. If you want to put your name or draw a picture, you can up at the very top at the shoulder because the rest of the body of the bottle will be cut into a spiral. And then don't worry about the very bottom, it will be cut off. So decorate it however you want to. And then I have one that's finished already. I'm going to cut it carefully. Now, depending on how old you are, you might need a grown-up for this part. But you flatten it as much as you can. And then you cut the bottom off as straight as you can. And then that's where I switch to the smaller scissors because I can cut it into a spiral a little bit easier. So try to go slowly until you get the hang of it. Try to keep it even. And the thinner the spiral strips, the longer and bouncier your wind spiral will be. So I've done a lot of these and hopefully I won't cut this one apart, but if you do accidentally cut it and make it sh too short, that's okay. You could still probably use it for a shorter decoration. And if you really mess up, you can always do another one. So you want to cut in a spiral, like a diagonal motion all the way up the bottle. And then you're going to come up to the shoulder. I don't know if you can see it very well. And that's it. And then you end at the shoulder and you have a really cool wind spiral. So you can do one at a time. You can hang it on a porch. You can hang it in the window. You can even hang it on a tree. Um, but don't forget about it or let it blow away and turn into litter. <laughs> but they are pretty decorations. And this one I have hanging. I don't know if you can see it's on a stick. Maybe I'll pull it off of there. This is on a stick. And they're really pretty. I hope you enjoyed that craft. And I hope that you have a great day. Thanks for watching.